Yes, I grew up without any religion in a family、uh, that moved around a lot. So we met a lot of people from around the world. But I was a very proud child, a very good student, and I thought that religion was for people who didn't think. <laughs>、um, that was wrong. I was quite wrong. I've been quite wrong about a lot of things.、Uh, but one of the things that opened my eyes was when I met thinking, smart, wonderful people who were Christians. And they challenged me to.、Uh, well, first they were nice, and they just invited me to church,、uh, but I didn't want to go to church. And then they said, "Well, maybe what matters most is not whether or not you go to church, but what you believe. Do you know what you believe?" And they asked if I'd ever read the Bible. And I realized that, hey, this is the number one best-selling book of all time. And no, I hadn't read it. Uh, and if I wanted to be the smart person I thought I was, then I should read the Bible. How can you be educated if you haven't read the Bible? So they suggested I start by reading Proverbs, which is、uh, you know you can read one chapter a day for a month. It's very light reading, and I thought, sure, I'll read that. You know, and I imagined it would be full of this fanciful stuff that I could easily. You know, in my snobby, arrogant, self-centered way, looked down upon.、Uh, and as I started reading it, I realized, oh my, there's real wisdom in here. There is stuff for the most、uh, intellectual person to be challenged by, to really think about. And as I、um, started to realize that, I realized I really need to read the whole Bible, which I then proceeded to do、uh, in a year, checking off boxes: how many books a day from the Old Testament, the New Testament. Uh, and as I did that quietly, without wanting to share it with anybody, I found myself being、uh, challenged and changed. I found myself、uh, starting to believe in God, which I did not want to believe in. <laughs> so that worried me a little bit. So I said, I need to study world religions and see if you know if I study some other one, is it going to make me believe you know or lead me to that predisposition? Maybe I'm just shaped by my culture, the Judeo-Christian culture in America. Uh, so I visited、um, mosques and temples and met people from lots of different religious faiths. I studied it in school in an independent studies、uh, program that my high school let a certain number of students do some independent activities. And through quite a long process, I、uh, decided that the evidence for Christianity was、uh, very powerful and was greater than、uh, what I was finding. In a lot of these other traditions, although I think all of these religious traditions are filled with great people and have lots of wonderful things、uh, to offer, I think you know there are truths、um, in a lot of these. But but the truths of Christianity don't agree. <laughs> but you, you can't just say they're all the same. They say things that are different from each other.、Uh, so I felt challenged to believe in God, and then later, as、um, I. Went to college. This, this took me many years. I was not a real. I was not a happy convert. I was sort of fighting it the whole time.、Uh, but as I、uh, went to college and got more questions answered and learned more, not just about God but about Jesus Christ, then I、uh, took another step, which was not just to allow that God might exist,、uh, but to allow that not only did Jesus exist historically and what he taught.、Uh, You know, is so incredible and inspiring and challenging,、um, but I could also embrace Jesus in a different role—a role with a relationship, a role as who is in charge of my life. Is it me, or am I going to hand that off to someone who I think knows better than I do? And when I ran that experiment, I became a Christian,、uh, and that was a very big step—not an easy step,、uh, but the greatest step I've ever taken. Really made all the difference in my life.